Hi guys. Okay, welcome back. Today is a video on push-up bars. Okay, so I know lots of you have these. Okay, so I'm going to run through 10 exercises that you can do with these at home. And after I get through all that, then I'm going to go through a little workout with you using these. These are widely available in the likes of Argos, Amazon, etc. Um, these are York brand, by the way, it's not sponsored or anything. But this is York and I've had these, I would say, eight years. And there's pretty much not a mark on them, apart from some chalk that I can't seem to get off in parts. But apart from that, they're in pretty good nick. They have lasted me a good while um, and they're quite inexpensive as well. So um, there's different ways to use these. Um, Number one benefit um, is it's actually really good if you have weaker wrists and um, your hip, your wrist mobility if it's a bit tight because when you're doing your press up your you know your your wrist is more in line with your forearm okay so whereas when you're on the ground and then flat you sort of are trying to extend the wrist this angle here okay so they're really good for if you have slightly weaker wrists um, or tightness in that area but also they're great if you want to make press ups that a little bit harder because obviously you've got that bigger range of motion coming down you can get a lot lot more um stretch across the chest and the front of the shoulders with these i'm going to run through 10 as i said 10 variations and then at the end i'm going to try and do some sort of workout combining all these 10 types of press ups so this should be pretty hard okay and each level will be getting a little bit more advanced Okay, so this should be fun. We'll see how this goes. Um, but yeah, let's get into the video and we'll see what we can get through. I will show you 10 different exercises with these. Okay guys, let's get started into this workout. So I'm gonna run through the 10 and every exercise will get a little bit harder in my opinion. And um, you might, might find these a different order for you, okay? But number one, I'm gonna do a neutral grip on the bar. Just a wee thing as well, when you get into the position, apply a little bit of pressure to the bars just to make sure that they're definitely stable, okay? So, apply a little bit of body weight before you actually begin. Now, on the knees, what you want to do is, instead of keeping the hips up, if you can, try and lower the hips so you're bringing more of your body weight behind you, okay? So you're lowering, okay? Also, breathing throughout, what you want to do is inhale on the easier part, which is the way down. And exhale on the way up. So normally with nearly every single exercise you try to exhale on the way up, okay? So yep, that again, hips down, looking down and back up, okay? Next one, similar, just off the knees, tight tight thighs for this one, lower down, drive back up, okay? So following on from that, we'll go into our palms facing a, the body, okay? So if you notice here, my palms facing my body, okay? So we're gonna give this one a go. We're gonna keep the legs okay, nice and tight. Come down and up. Okay, next one then, we're gonna go into palms facing away. A little bit more difficult. Okay, keeping the legs again. Nice and tight, fold in, and up. Okay, so next then, we're gonna go into our tricep press, which is going to hit the backs of your arms up a little bit more, okay? So I'm gonna bring them in, in line with my shoulders, okay? So again, hop up, legs tight, elbows into the sides, drive through and lock out. Variation on that then to make it a little bit harder again. One bar. So I'm going to use one press up bar. And what that's going to do is go into more um, like a diamond press up where you're trying to keep the elbows in. They will come out a little bit, but you're going to try and keep the elbows in that little bit more. Okay, same again, apply pressure, tighten up, whole body, bring yourself down in one line, drive back up again. Down and up. So, I'm going to keep using one bar for the meantime actually, and I'm going to show you just one arm, elevated press ups. So, this allows you to get a stretch on one arm, that little bit more, you'll feel it across the front of your shoulder. Okay, so, 
I'm gonna have hand flat on the ground, this one neutral position. Again, apply pressure, tighten up, and come down. So now I'm getting that a little bit deeper. And you can obviously do the same on the opposite arm. So, tight legs, and up. Now we're gonna go into wide press ups. Okay, so this again will be a little bit more of a stretch across the chest and the shoulders. So I'm gonna go quite wide. Your body, your torso and your legs, try to keep them doing the same throughout. So nice and tight, long body, looking down and up. Really try to use the most of this depth, this extra depth that you've got on this. Okay. Next then, we are on to our pike. So when you have neutral position, you can do pike in any position. It's really just where you're applying a little bit more weight to your shoulders. So go into your sort of downward dog position, come over the bars, and you're just gonna lower yourself down, drive up, come down, drive up. Okay, so the last one, this will be number 10, I'm going to do a lean, so I have a neutral position of my grip, palms facing, and I'm going to lower down, go to the side, and then the opposite side, okay? So this is um, more advanced, but again, holding the body exactly the same position. Okay, so you're gonna come down to one side, and up, other side, and up, other side, come up, other side. And that is the 10 that I want to run through with you. To be honest, there's loads of different variations of these out there. Um, you can play about with it. And if you have a particular one that you like, I mean, do that. You don't have to do all these. But now I'm going to actually run through a quick workout. 20 seconds of work, 20 second rest. I'm going to start with the hardest which was number 10 there, and work backwards. So if you have a particular, say you get up to number eight, then join in at the, when I hit the third exercise and work your way back. So yeah, let's see how many you can do, give it a go. Um, or if you don't have these, you can do press ups, obviously, on the floor. And you can do a lot of these variations on the floor as well. For example, the single arm one, you can definitely do these, just put your hand on a book. For that little bit of elevation on one side. Okay, everything else you can do on the floor, the pipe press ups, etc. And um, maybe just these, you'll feel these a little bit more the reverse grip ones as opposed to having them on the bar. So it's actually harder on the ground, I, th I find, for the reverse grips on the ground. But anyway, we will get stuck into this workout. So 20 seconds on, 20 seconds off. This is a quick one, but very intense. Okay, so you'll definitely feel um, fatigued in your whole upper body.
bottles of red wine laying on the floor from last night. We got a little drunk, yeah. Now I'm a little numb. Mm-hmm. Spending hours by your bedside, talking till it's dark out somehow. Can get you off my mind. Don't wanna say goodbye, bye, bye, bye. Maybe we should take it slow. I don't feel too comfortable jumping into something new right now. Yeah, I don't really know anymore how to feel something again. Think I'm just Sneaking out the door while the sun rises Cause I ain't got the time Yeah, can't tell another lie mm-hmm. And baby, I know you want more than this But you know I can't afford your kiss So I'm staying for the night But then I gotta say goodbye, bye, bye Maybe we should take it slow I don't feel too comfortable Jumping into something new right now I don't really know anymore how to feel something again Think I'm just scared of falling Don't wanna go I think I'm scared of falling And I really don't know how to 